Hello, my beautiful people. Ah, you haven't seen my face in a minute. Um, hope you are doing well today. And I was listening to a couple of videos on YouTube and it brought up a fun yet gloomy kind of subject. And I just want your opinion. Um, if the end of the world as we know it came next week, what would you miss the most? Yes, I made a list. So, <laughs> um, now granted, this is taking into account your preps. If you have any preps, hopefully you have preps. I've been preaching this for how many years? Hopefully you have preps. Okay. Um, hold on. Let me put on my glasses because I can't see. Not even my own, own handwriting. Um, hot and cold running water. That would be first. Because granted, even though the summers here, even right now, are not as hot as they could be they're almost hot enough where you could take a cold shower and it's not really a cold shower um one of the things i hate about summer is that the tap water the cold tap water is not really cold but anyway hot and cold running water um this one i could deal with if I get my preps up, um, the one thing, the one prep I do not have. Now we do have one of those, uh, what do they call them? I think they call them tornado fans. It's like a huge circular fan and it sits on the floor and it's really loud and it blasts air in. We do have one of those that we could plug into our generator. However, it would not hurt to have one of those fans that I think you pour water in and they're supposed to automatically make the air like 20 degrees cooler. That's my next, it's not a major prep, but it's one of the preps once where, where we need to be, I definitely want to consider. So air conditioning, yeah, seriously. Um, now granted, I grew up without air conditioning for part of my life. Um, in Brooklyn where I was raised until I was 11 and then we uh, moved to Mobile, Alabama. And on the third store, third floor of, third store, third floor of the Brownstone, we did not have air conditioning. So I grew up the first 11 years of my life without it. Um, my mom and dad would put one of those big box fans in the window and being higher up, it would draw a little cooler air well that was warm air rises anyway it created a breeze they would have one in the front in the living room and one in the back in their bedroom and it was like it wasn't a straight shot but it would it would blow air a breeze through the house through the apartment which was really nice um so yeah if i had to deal i could but I'm so spoiled on air conditioning, it's ridiculous. Um, another thing, I can do this with the generator that we have. I can't run them both at one time, but we're just talking about life in general. My washer and dryer, oh my goodness. I'm one of those rare people that actually love doing laundry, at least the washing and drying part. And I will get my clothes out the dryer while they're still hot and um, hang them up so I don't have to iron them. Yeah, because I'm lazy on that part. But washing and drying, I actually love doing. Weird, I know. Um, YouTube University. <laughs> My friends and I uh, call it YouTube University because you pretty much search anything in YouTube and it can, someone has done a video to show you how to do it. And hopefully the correct way but I mean literally anything from a uh, oil change to um, fixing your washer or dryer or anything I mean you could find literally anything on YouTube 
So I will miss that. Um, my truck. Now, I don't have a brand new truck. I have never owned a brand new car, ever. And I'm 50 years old. Um, my latest car that we actually got eight years ago. Yeah, actually in April, it was eight years. Um, is a 2004 Nissan Pathfinder. And I absolutely hated that truck when I did not pick that truck. My husband picked that truck. And um, he test drove it. I didn't test drive it. He test drove it. And he was like, Lisa, this is the truck for you. I was looking for more of a Tahoe kind of thing. And um, I couldn't find it. And I literally searched because I said, if I'm going to have a car now, it's going to be something that I really want. And I really wanted an SUV. I really wanted a big SUV. But... Um, God had other plans and I got a mid-sized SUV and within a week of getting it I absolutely love that truck and I tell everybody all the time I will drive that truck literally until the wheels fall off I am not getting rid of that truck I could win the lottery tomorrow I'm still not getting rid of that truck I will still drive that truck every day <laughs> um, so yeah if something like an EMP or nuclear disaster or something where you couldn't drive it didn't even have to be disastrous you just couldn't drive yeah i'm gonna miss my truck um and the last thing which my truck kind of leads to it segues into that is traveling yeah i did a lot more traveling in my earlier days especially before i had children um but even the stuff that i do now the um the road trips or um, the only international trip I've ever made was to Australia and that was back in uh, July of 2019 but just traveling in general just going somewhere different seeing and meeting new and different people and stuff like that that will probably be my ultimate because um, I'm not trying to get into this because I gave up astrology a long time ago, but I'm, an, I'm a Sagittarius and I get wanderlust where if I sit too long in one place, it drives me nuts. So even if I have to take a couple hours one weekend and just drive to a different state or even to a different part of the state that I'm in just to get away for a day or even like four to six hours or something like that um, is something very big and very important to me. So I think that if we were unable to travel places, I think, yeah, it might drive me nuts. So I want your comments. I want, what would you miss most? If it's a, if it's a list, hey, write it down in the comments. And by the way, as many of you watch my videos, you can like it and comment and subscribe because I'm trying to get my subscription up. So thank you very much, I appreciate it. But um, yeah, just a, a quick video. You know, like I said, I was watching other videos and the idea came to me. I was like, as I'm sure someone has put a video out like this, but I've never seen it. So let me know down below. All right, guys, take care, God bless. Keep prepping, keep praying. Um, because I don't know what's coming our way, seriously. Um, I, I still have that uh, ominous feeling. It's not as strong as it was before, but it's still there. Um, and just, just praying through it. And, you know, I'm going to possibly take a new direction as far as my channel goes. Not as far as uh, not prepping, don't get me wrong. But you'll just have to wait and see. Love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.